Hi everyone and welcome back to the 8th video in the Python 3.6 tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about the range function. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build on the previous tutorial and we're going to do a for loop which uses the range function. And so basically what I've just typed out here is for i in range 5 print i. So like we learned in the previous tutorial, it's for each item in usually some list. And so what range 5 is doing is it's making a list <coughs> that's going 0 to 5 but not including 5. So what it's going to do is it's going to print out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it's going to stop at 5 but not print 5. So we can see it went 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It went up to 5 but did not include 5. And then after, just to explain a little bit further, they show that the range So what you can do is you can do range 5 to 10. So you're picking the lower bound and the upper bound. And I can print that. And then it just feeds you back an object that says range 5 to 10. And then we can also use this when we're doing stuff with lists. So we can build on top of that. We can make a list that says Mary had a little lamb. And that's our list. And then we're going to iterate through it. And first, I'm going to show you the way we did it previously. And then I'm going to show you how we can use the um, range function to do something a little bit different and add a little bit of functionality. So what we're doing here is like we did in the previous tutorial, we're just doing for i in a print i. So it's going through a and it's finding each individual object. It's going to find Mary had a little lamb and print them out all in order. Mary had a little lamb, so it iterated through all of the different objects. And so what we can do that's a little bit differently with the range function is we can also get the index at the same time. So the way this is changing is now that we're doing, we're measuring the length of A, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're taking the range, so we're going 0 to 5. And then it's going 4i in the range of 0 to 5. And that's going to become i. So i is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what it's going to do is it's going to print the index. So it's going to print out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then next to it, it's going to pick out a and then index of i. So it's going to pull out the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and so on. So we can see that in action. So in here, i is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And a index i is all of the words within the list. So you can show the index as well as the actual item that was within that. And then another interesting thing we can do to build on top of that is we can make it make a list. So if we want to make something that's like that, we can do list. We can create some object that's just counting all the way through a set of numbers. So it's going to print out a list at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we've got a list that we can use for some other function. And then on top of making a list, you can also, we already showed that you can pick the bounds. So we could start at zero, 
we could go up to 20. And then after that, we could do a step, step size of three. So what this means, this first number is the lower bound, the second number is the upper bound, and then the third number is the step size. And so what it's gonna do is count up from zero in threes, and then it's gonna go up until it hits 20, and then it's gonna stop, and it's gonna print every single one along the way within a list. So we can see that it counted up by three, up to 18, and then if it added three more to this, it would be 21, so it stops and it doesn't print that. That's gonna conclude our tutorial on the range function. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be working on break and continue statements.